Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. In this episode of Claim Your Excellent Life, we are going to speak about things to withhold when you're working with a therapist. Yet another corn question to me. And let me tell you something. My answer might surprise you. As far as I'm concerned, and I've been on both sides of the street, folks, I spent about 14 years of my life in therapy for something called bipolar 2. It used to be known as manic depression. And there was nothing that I withheld from my ex-psychiatrist. Nothing. Or the psychologist who helped me before I worked with the psychiatrist. Because this is the thing. Unless your therapist knows what's going on with you, there is no way they're going to be able to help you. Pure and simple. And generally speaking, those things that we feel really bad about, well, there's reasons why those things occurred. Sometimes it was out of our own ability to stop. Maybe we were too young. Maybe we had some mental health issues going on. It's all about forgiving self and others. Really, truly it is. And yet, so many people withhold information because they don't trust the people they have employed to help them. And that was another question that came up a few times by different corns about not being able to be honest with their therapist and wondering why they couldn't. My guess is because they didn't trust them. You never spend your time and money the therapist you do not trust. How do you know you trust them? Because you can be honest with them about what's going on in your world. Withholding means you don't trust them. Now, there are times when therapists are put into situations that can be difficult. And sometimes they really do overreact when they ask somebody if they've ever been suicidal, for example. I had this happen with one of my clients with a psychiatric social worker years ago. And because she said yes, because she was a depressive at the time, she sometimes feels suicidal. That psychiatric social worker left her in the office for a matter of five minutes and came back with two cops to bring her over to the hospital, where she spent the next, I don't know, from 3 o'clock in the afternoon until, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, getting a psych evaluation. They're trying to protect you, and they're trying to protect their licenses. I, as a hypnotist, don't have a license to protect. So when my clients tell me that they have had a suicidal ideation, I put it in the past, But I recognize the fact that it's a serious situation and one that needs to be addressed. Because only if I know what is going on with my clients can I help them address those issues that are creating those negative feelings inside them to allow them to be free of them. Of course, using their subconscious mind because that's what hypnotists do. You know you can trust your therapist when they treat you like an adult. 
They respect your input, and you respect theirs. It's really as simple as that. And it may take quite a few before you find someone that, well, you feel comfortable working with, and that's okay. Take your time and find the right one. That is my advice. Because the people who come to see me, many of them, have not had the best experience with what I call conscious therapists. That would be your normal mental health professional person. It doesn't mean they don't exist. I obviously found one, and she was wonderful. She just didn't know how to help me heal myself with the bipolar. That was something that was done through timeline therapy with my trainers. And it was very expensive, but it was worth it. Every penny, because I no longer have to deal with ups and downs in my life, not outrageous ones, without having that medium feeling of just being content. Because when you're bipolar, you don't have that. You're just high or low. I was lucky. I had six months of highs. But the problem with that was that I had really bad judgment. I was really irritating and irritable to the people around me, and it was not a healthy way to live. So I'm very grateful to my trainers for helping me to let it go quickly and effectively. And yes, the psychiatrist did follow me for 10 months to make sure that everything was cool. Why? Because I work in mental health and I want to make sure that I was doing right for myself and therefore my clients. That's why. Let's not be stupid about these things, okay? Everything was done under her guidance. I'll tell you this because I'm a real person who's come through real crap in my life. And I feel that transparency is super duper important if you want people to actually pay attention to what you're saying. There is no pretend here. It's all quite pragmatic and based on my own life experiences. It's the best teacher there is in this world. And I would think that if you're going to have someone help you, that would be the kind of person that you would want to help you. Someone who's honest, open, And willing to hold you accountable so that you can do what you need to do to be well. Because that's where all the healing happens, correct? Well, that's what I found in my life anyway. So, what do you withhold from your therapist? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's my answer. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me. Till next time. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, We'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, and maybe even life-altering with the information that we have shared here, and to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A-T-R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A-T as in Tom, R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com, where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Claim Your Excellent Life with your host, Suzanne kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you.